Hey, what's up, soldiers? My name is Greg FPS, the Zombies Extraordinaire. The Ballistic Shield is on Voyage of Despair. It's a shield that has three parts, and all three parts have three separate locations where you can find the parts. In this video, I'm going to explain each and every one of them, show you exactly where to go, and also have the parts in those locations. If this video does help you out, make sure to drop a like and subscribe if you're new. And without further ado, let's get right into it, guys. So the first part that we're going to be getting is always going to be located on the first floor right outside of spawn. Now, the first location can be in this shelf right here. And as you can see, it has the number nine on it. It's pretty hard to miss to be honest with you guys that one sticks out like a sore thumb for sure now the next location is going to be on a chair now this one is on the other side of the like first room so we're going to run all the way around and go to the other side now you can just go in the other door if you want and it's sitting right here on this chair and that is the next location and the third location that this park can spawn on is going to be in another chair and this time it's going to be on the right side kind of like the cubby hole one and it is going to be sitting on this wooden chair right here so those are all three locations for that first piece now the next piece is always going to be on the third floor so going right out of spawn you go up three flights of stairs and then behind is going to be the first location that's on the front of the boat just resting against that railing right there now the next location that this part can spawn is going to be actually leaning up against a railing which is also going to be inside and on the third floor which you guys will see right here it's on the other side of the wall by right there and the last and final location is actually going to be leaning up against a wooden box and once again this is on the third floor all of the second part locations are on the third floor so just keep that in mind while you guys are playing and it's going to be leaning up against this box right here now the next one is a little bit more tricky so all three parts are going to be located underneath the sentinel artifact that you have to activate at the start of a game so follow exactly where i'm running and you'll get to the back of the boat and they're all located in the back of the boat you guys will understand once we get there but just follow this you can get to the back of the boat in about a minute if you're using mutations like i did it's really easy to follow just you know basically copy exactly what i'm doing and you'll get there pretty fast and you don't really have to worry about it now the sentinel artifact has to be activated every single game for you to unlock the doors that have red on them now you can only open them once you activate the sentinel artifact and they open by themselves so as you can see i'm going to go over here and activate the sentinel artifact and then it's basically underneath that is where you're going to find the three locations for the last part so once again you go in the doors directly in front of where the sentinel artifact was so this first location we're going to go down here and you're basically going down a bunch of flights of stairs for all of these parts which can get a little bit annoying if i'm going to be honest uh which kind of does suck but at the same time it's really not that bad so the first place that this can spawn is actually going to be on the other side of the freezer and you'll see some like flowers of some sort and it's just leaning right up against it, it has a smiley face on it the part now this part does seem very difficult to get because it is dark it blends in with the surroundings which can be a huge problem and i really have been despising getting this part and finding all the locations that can spawn because i kept getting it in like the same location over and over which got a little frustrating so this one is back here at the end of the hallway that's probably the easiest one to find to be honest and the last and final location for this part guys is actually going to be one floor up from where those two were which is a pretty good i guess uh it's not as far down so you don't have to worry as much and basically all you do is turn to the left and it's right there so anyways guys those are all of the locations for all three different parts of the shield so i hope that did help a little bit and clarify some things so if you want to know where the build table is or one of them it is going to be actually right in front of where you activate the sentinel artifact and that area where the last part spawns so it's literally right next to it right here so if you grab that part last then you can just build it right after you grab it 
and boom that's the ballistic shield so like i said guys it's fairly decent i wouldn't say it's like the greatest shield in the world but it actually does do a pretty good job considering it gives you a gun so you can shoot bullets either outside of the shields or inside of the shield you can also bash zombies and shields are going to be extremely helpful in black ops 4 just because you only have three bars of health or 150 health total so having a shield and there's like certain perks that help having a shield as well uh which basically are better if you have a shield uh that's going to be really really useful so make sure that you guys pick up the ballistic shields every time you play voyage of despair thank you so much for watching my name is greg fps if this video did help you out make sure to drop a like and subscribe if you're new i'll see you guys in the next one peace out Find peace. Actually, that's not true. I hope you're suffering terribly.